Welcome back to Compelling Bytes. In this video, I'll share my findings from benchmarking various versions of Blender on Linux using Intel Arc. For this benchmark, I used Linux Mint 22.04. Blender and Intel Arc works alright on Ubuntu 24.04 if you want the cutting edge version of Ubuntu. I also tested Intel Arc on several other distros, which I'll cover in my next video. That video will offer a roundup of solutions to various nagging issues you'll encounter while trying to use Intel Arc with Blender on Linux. On paper, it seems like a good idea to look into maybe buying an A750 or A770 to work in Blender. So let's see how the two coexist on Linux. I wanted to provide these benchmarks to help you make an informed decision. I used the CLI based benchmark tool to show results for the Monster, Junk Shop, and Classroom benchmarks across four Blender versions 4.0.0, 3.6.0 LTS, 3.5.0, and 3.3.0 LTS. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the 4.1.1 benchmark to run because the downloads failed, though Blender 4.1.1 and Linux works fine with. My arc card. Since arc support is evolving, you might be able to benchmark 4.1.1 in the future. Speaking of systems, here are the hardware specs of mine. Now for the benchmark results. I'm not an expert in Blender, so I use the standard benchmarks. The curiosity bug bit me, and I wanted to see how far I could get visualizing the benchmark data in Blender. I didn't get too far, and I got a lot of help from ChatGPT. I'd like to continue learning more, though. Well, looking at these results, Blender 3.6.0 LTS outperformed the other versions significantly. It beat 3.5.0, the closest competitor, by almost 350 points. Versions 4.0.0 and 3.3.0 were about 2 points apart and 60 points behind 3.5.0. On my system, 3.6.0 is the best version to use, assuming 4.1.1 benchmarks are worse. I'm not sure if the tests I ran test different aspects of Blender relative to each other. I made this graph using Blender 4.1.1 on OpenSUSE Linux with my A770. Blender 3.6.0 was the top performer on Linux Mint. There are some caveats when using Intel Arc GPUs with Blender on Linux, which I'll cover in my next video. If you're interested in using Blender with your Intel Arc card on Linux, stay tuned for that next video. Thanks for watching.